they followed through regardless, and Tempest was like, hey, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I, I question that, that initiation by Bubbles at first. When you get a kelp field like that on one hero, especially when it's like the tankiest hero on your team at that point, eh, it's kind of iffy. They did surprise me, though. You're right. And able to burst him down very, very fast, but just so close. I did want to mention two little things before we get into the game. Um, well, actually, a couple things. I did find out, and uh, you know, these are the things that you come across when you're solo herbal and you're using camera because you miss some things. But Soul Stealer uh, Dread Aura, you can't turn it off. So when they find him in the trees like that, uh, you, oh, you they know, he's know there. he, yeah, yeah. Also, Soul Stealer did straight up die to the tower <laughs> in mid. Um, but really, yeah. was yeah. he just watching the fight? I'm not quite sure. Uh, that's one of those things I'll have to go back and watch. But okay. the game okay. actually has begun, <laughs> so uh, we'll talk maybe that more about that later, and maybe check out the brackets once the game is finished. But I want to jump into this game because they're going really, really fast with these locks. So let's go ahead and do that. Jump into this game. Um, we got 15 yet again taking on Complexity. 15s in the Legion side. Complexity taking on the Hellborn side. Legion side is first pick, I believe. Let me double check on that. Yeah, they are. Uh, the blind band's coming out pretty standard yet again. Jerazai and Tundra. Last time BK banned out that fade when he was first position. This time he goes ahead and banned Tundra for good reason. Uh, Legion band in Ophelia and Tempest, and then I'll quickly go over these locks as well. First lock coming out for Sweet Pro. Zet Pro. Actually, I don't think he did the drafting last time, so that's a, that's a switch to note. But um, mm -hmm. he bans out that Devourer. Bubbles uh, Plague to come out from Complexity. Again, you, you really seem to hit the, hit the nail on the head right there, is they, I think, value most of getting multiple suicide laners in that pool so that they have, in case one of them gets taken, they still have one to work with. Because as I mentioned, the other heroes in the lanes are interchangeable. The most important thing, I really feel like for complexity, and the reason why they succeed so much, is securing a very, very strong suicide laner. Right, and you mentioned it before, but versatility is the name of the game in lockpick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that pretty much covers it, so... Yeah. Uh, so also locks us Chipper Madman. We never see Chipper, and I love him actually. I really, really do. He he can kind of be filled in the same kind of solo mid role as Witchlayer and Fade. It's not wrong or bad at all to get a, a portal key on Chipper. And oh, I will no, say no. that Staff of the Master on Chipper is probably the best uh, item on him. In like I'm trying to word this correctly, but there's no better item pickup on any other. Hero in the game, I feel like, than Staff of the Master and Chipper. It is absolutely <laughs> devastating. Oh, and it works on Shrunken Head, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Portal Key's great. I mean, we used to see Korok Chipper played all the time, and, and he would Chuk. always offer that fast uh, Portal Key. Always. So. Yep. Yeah, Korok played Chipper really, really well. Even when I played back on a team with him at SK, that was kind of our go to hero. Him and uh, Dr. Repulsor. Korok played a lot of Dr. Repulsor. <laughs> <but> specifically, <laughs> Chipper can take over games. Honestly, it's a mid hero that can really take over games. You get some good runes, uh, you get fast levels. He's also one of the heroes that is absolutely devastating in a one on one matchup in mid. Uh, he pretty much beats almost anything. Maybe, say, Succubus can beat him. Succubus is kind of one of those, like, probably the best mid hero. Yeah, and there's obvious advantage, like, say, Witch Slayer against him. Uh, Witch Slayer provides a little bit more gank disable and potential, so maybe you can turn it in that way. But in a straight 1v1, for sure. Um, as we're rambling on, though, the Aluna was a lot last lock there. Uh, the bands have actually come out. Witchlayer Fade, uh, as we're talking both about those. Mage Bane. Mage Bane seems to, uh, his value goes up significantly when uh, Fade is off the board, because Fade is very, very annoying to deal with when you're playing Mage Bane. Dark Lady. Uh, what? <laughs> I know, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, Dark Lady. <laughs> Silhouette. Banned uh, Draconis, so all those really go-to hard carries are banned. The final ban was, Dr well, it was Draconis. And then, bam, Artillery picked up by Zed Pro first, and he Zed actually he was the one that says, mind equals blown as my mind is actually blown. Wow, what do you think about that? And then Pebbles Polywalk picked up by Complexity. <sighs> I, I'm sorry, I'm still just blown away by the Artillery first pick. I mean... <laughs> We the last time I saw Zep Pro play artillery, we were in a TMM game together, and he had to play support artillery, and it went <laughs> terrible. Uh, I actually think the hero is not as bad as what the hell is what? going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm wanting to see what's next. What's next? Don't what? I I uh, you know I I was gonna say I don't think artillery is as bad as people make him out to be. Right. Uh, no. That's a point. <laughs> I don't know much about the hero because I've never played him, but I will say he farms really fast. Like, his spell seems to make him farm fast at a safe range. And um, I know late game, when he gets pumped up, he is absolutely freaking devastating. But that being said, I don't know much about him. I don't know his capabilities throughout the entire game. I don't even know what his spells do, to be honest. 
<laughs> There's Engineer. Oh my god, we got a crazy effing lineup, my god. Stressing out a little bit about the, the final two picks coming out. I, I want to know if they actually have a plan. Uh, <laughs> it's he set pro, man. those heroes really fast. It's oh god, Hollywog War be so strong, so strong. It's it's very uh, strong. Coaching. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there, but um, yeah, War Beast. <laughs> what the? F oh man. Okay, I will not swear on cast. I promise. <laughs> There's Bubbles as the complexity's go-to suicide, and this is like cookie cutter complexity against what the hell are you doing? Fifteen. Uh, we got Pebbles and Luna in the safe lane, most likely. The passive jungler war beast, that's the only thing that scares me, is they do have a passive jungler with pebbles in lane. If you do go up against his pebbles, it could be deadly, because war beast has... Uh, he can offer a little bit before 6. It's kind of iffy, but once he hits 6, he's very, very strong. Also, I mentioned the god comp, bubbles war beast. It is so good together. Mm -hmm. um, makes it very, very easy early on. The kelp oh, yeah, plus the ultimate. There's, there's no countering that, that yeah. kelp field outside of a shrunken head, too, so... Yep. And even when you get a shrunken head, you, you don't counter Warbeast, because Warbeast is all physical. So, yep. All right, now let's quickly go over and try to make some sense into this damn Legion lineup. Uh, we got Zedpro. He's playing to play that chipper, and he's got boots first already. Oh, my God, this game. I feel like we could play the... Uh, Holy... What's that? What's that? What's that music? That theme song music? Oh, I... Like... I know, like, the carnivalish music, right? Like, I don't know, say he's riding on a... I don't know. I know, I know exactly what you're on about, but what Benny is Hilton. going on? That's what it is. Oh, that one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Anyway, we got four heroes walking up here on the Legion side. Zepro leading the way with those boots. No regen. He's going to be roaming chipper, by the way. He's got one mana potion. This is ridiculous. Um, actually, Engineer has the same... Oh, <laughs> they all have the same... God, what <laughs> is going on? You, you know what? I oh man, they got Devo with boots. They got Engineer with the boots. They got Chipper with boots. Uh, artillery. He's got a ward, so it's gonna be a support artillery, like you mentioned. What the f is going on, man? If I see the Legion team win this game, everything I believe in has been shattered. Uh, <laughs> there is nothing left for me if if the Legion team takes this off. I am just. Oh this is going to be so much fun to watch for at least three minutes, uh, <laughs> if not the whole duration. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I was going to make a quick note about Warbeast 2 against Engineer. Uh -huh. He's actually really good against Engineer. The snare doesn't apply to him. The ulti he doesn't care about because obviously he's just a right-click monster. His wolves go through it. He goes through it. He can take out that ulti so fast with his wolves. Right. Uh, so he get, he doesn't get pur I mean, he gets purged maybe, but he doesn't lose movement speed. Uh, correct. Obviously. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, just that's really, really good. Out. So, yeah, he doesn't really care about it. That's really good. And then yeah. he's an obvious shrunken head hero, too, which Engineer is like, ah, damn you. So. Yeah. Yeah, shrunken head's pretty much standard. Hollywog wards as well against Engineer. Yeah. Um, actually, I think, honestly, I think Engineer's ult is pretty damn easy to counter. It just takes a little bit of, like, extra effort on your team to be like, bam, attack it, it's done. Uh, it is pretty good when you have a follow-up AoE stunner, though. It sort of stops them from yeah. they're attacking it right away. But yeah, on its own, it's just so easy to drop. Yeah, it's... yeah. In theory, yeah, it's like in theory, it's easy to drop it, but there are other situations. And, and it does create a little bit of a thing where they have to auto it for a little bit, so maybe they're not casting their spells as much, and they are standing, maybe standing in place, or not moving too much while they are. I don't know. There's other effects that it creates. I mean, mental pressures and such. So it's by no means a bad ulti, of course, but. There's that, there's that, uh, <laughs> artillery look. Check that out. Man, that guy looks scary. I gotta say. But he is support artillery. And, uh, I, I really have no way to make out this, um, this lineup. I really don't. Maybe you just blow their minds, and maybe they won't take it as seriously, and maybe no. Sandwraith will fit in an extra 10,000 gold here or there. <laughs> it's gonna be Sandwraith against Bubbles, though, and Bubbles... If he just right clicks him like crazy, he's gonna own him. Actually, the the Rome squad, let's just call him that. Bassets, FedEx for the win, and Sweet Pro or Zet Pro. Rome spot squad's coming bottom. We are gonna see a Boots Devourer mid. My God, I've never seen this before. He does have regen. He's gonna be a one hook wonder basically. He has no regen. If he misses a hook, that's it. But the Rome, I I will say the scary thing about this is that you don't know which lane they're gonna hit. <laughs> at this point. Right. Uh, they are mid. Anything. Like, yeah. Polly is mid. It's actually being played by Haxorin, believe it or not. Usually we see... Actually, the stun comes Ooh, out. 
Here's the run. Fun surfer. He's dead. Success oh, queen for Queen of Country. Bassett gets the first blood. Bassett is playing that Devo. Uh, he's <laughs> gonna have his bottle here very, very shortly. Just a couple more CS and he'll have it. But oh my God, success in some form right there. They do get the kill on the Haxorin. And let's see where the roaming squad goes. Chipper. The fun thing about him is he has no regen. He's gonna maybe try to do something in the bottom lane. Same thing with Engineer. Good setup stun there coming up from FedEx for the win. Usually, it's kind of scary to set up a stun like that with a, a keg. He uh, did have like a millisecond stun coming out from the uh, the rocket barrage as well. But yeah, a great open field stun and knocked him in the right direction too. Yep. Now here comes the uh, the gank squad, the Rome squad coming out to bubbles. Uh, he does have a ward here. The spot it though, it is on the other side of the trees as we always see that placed. Uh, so he has pretty much a full idea. He actually see Engineer right now. Uh, I don't know if he sees this chipper. But, uh, yeah, Bubbles is going to be fine. That's the beauty of Suicide Bubbles is he can understand that ganks are happening but not really be scared about it, especially when it's against the Santa Wraith uh, chipper engineer. So All things aside, great, great idea for the Santa Wraith to pick up an Iron Shield here uh, against the Bubbles. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, he'd be having a ho even with a normal Stout Shield, uh, Iron Buckler, he, he would be having a hard time. So great Iron Shield pickup. But. I, I completely agree. I really do. Um, is that pro? No, it's actually not that pro. It's a uh, seal kid. He's playing this uh, artillery here. He actually mid action. They're gonna. Uh, Devo gets dangerously low. Zed pro might die as well. He does have boots. He does die. Haxer you know, gets the counter kill. The courier is upgraded. I don't know whose courier that is. I actually think it's the legion side. It almost dies as well. All three of those people actually almost die. Oh no. Oh no, Engineer gets killed by Neutral Crease before they're able to At least not the down. Wolves, at least not the Wolves. Yeah, yeah. the hound, the Hellhounds almost get the kill. What is what? this? I know it's a little bit of a silly game, but one point of criticism in my book is I'm a little bit upset to see that Sandwraith is going for his uh, Dissipate build this game, especially with the team he has. I would have much rather seen the, the Max Dagger, especially with the buff made to it, where it's guaranteed procs now whenever yeah. you have something Dagger. It, it's so much more powerful uh, for that level 6 gank. I agree. I definitely agree. And your illusions proc it too, so it's not like oh, you yeah. even have to oh, be yeah. there. Um, artillery does die to Pebbles solo. Not even a, let me check, if there's, nope, not even an assist. So B Kid doing work up here. Artillery's gonna have a hell of a time now. Uh, he is an agility hero. I didn't even know that. He looks like he would be a strength hero, I feel like, but maybe because of his, his beautiful big, bald strong head. Arms, yeah, and his bald head, yeah. <laughs> um, Sandwraith, yeah, he is getting a lot of pressure applied down here. Aluna did make his way down here. They realize that. Because like I got this bitch. Don't need anybody helping me top. And he'll be just fine. The Rome squad is coming up and making its way up here in the top lane. Still level one on both Zet Pro and FedEx for the Rin. Playing that chipper and uh, engineer respectively. Uh, Sandra is taking a lot of damage from this double damage of Luna. Oh, it's actually a missed uh, nuke they're coming out. There is a <laughs> nuke ready <laughs> for Luna. But it's not in range. Auto attacks are not in range. Spells are on cooldown. Aluna will have another one in four seconds. Eat a tree! Eat a tree! Eat a tree! Eat a tree! Tuke this. Tuke this. Eat a tree! Oh, I think he could have lived, um, or got enough life to survive one more power shot. Maybe not, if he hit it right up. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. oh, Beacon's in a lot of trouble. The Boots Roamers have made their way up here. What does Artillery the have to offer? The dilating Zepro there. Oh my god. god. What is this game? No, I mean, there's person to pull out a troll in an important quarterfinals match, I mean, I, yeah. it, it would be bad, bro. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's fun and, and all, and oh, Engineer's gonna die. He doesn't even have a keg to, like, kind of juke himself or stun anybody. He does have boots, though. The hook coming out, it's missing. A chipper doing a lot of damage, actually. He ends up body blocking, which is easy to do when you have boots. Uh, and Warbeast actually will fall, but Artillery is shortly to fall right. afterwards. There with the Hellhounds. Yeah. Blocking him in, getting those autos in. Um, well, one thing I want to say though is I don't almost I almost don't understand. I mean, I almost don't understand uh, 15's approach to this game because they actually put up a really good fight against Complexity. I, I honestly know. thought they had the answer. They had everything set up they needed to win. Uh, just some small like things that added up into to being Complexity's game. But I I almost don't understand this kind of response. I, I thought they did amazing in the first game. I know this is kind of just silly. Um, I, I mean, it's funny and it's fun to watch, and it's all goofy and crazy set pro. But yeah, no, I totally agree with you. Like they were doing really well in the bottom, or really well last game. Just a few minor adjustments, really, and a, a few just a different heads up plays, and they would have had it. Soul Stealer was owning his lane. 
Uh, Pebbles was getting complete free farm. Bubbles was against two and getting lots of experience. They just picked a couple bad fights. They did a couple, you know, small misplays, but things that are easily... Well, small misplays that had big, uh, big a lashback, though, you know? I mean... Right. Well, yeah, definitely. I'm just saying that... If thing if these things could have been it would have been easy to change. They did right, it wasn't big back. Yeah, precisely, but. precisely. They could have looked at the game that hey guys, this is what we did wrong. We need to make sure to pay a little bit of extra attention to this and you know, let's try something else this game. And I was really impressed with their performance. That's why I'm just a little bit shocked. Yep, there's a sandwich ultimate action coming out, but Franzi able to get the kill on that throw before he dies. This the is an take example cover. of where Star did would Oh nice start. So. That was a really, really good hook. Um, and then even artillery is there. Podwog there with the war trap. No, it's unsuccessful. And actually, he's not going to be able to do anything with that. He does grip the devourer, the but uh, it's not really unfortunate. He does use that in Vizrin. Maybe he's going to try to do something here. He doesn't have any kind of follow up or help, so he's just going to get the hell on And she just got a sentry right now. No one has one. So. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I totally agree with you. I really think, while this is fun and all fun to watch, actually, the hook comes out onto the engineer mines. <laughs> So Seal could get the kill from that. Actually, it wasn't Engineer that got the kill. I almost don't want to say anything, because if they somehow wind up pulling out a victory of this, no I just do not want to look like a clown. <laughs> no way. But it, it... Oh my god. I mean, in the meantime of all this happening, Jesse is still free farming. B-Kid's free farming. He couldn't have his portal key up in about, I would say, five minutes or so. Um, I mean, yeah, Sandwraith is... Actually, Sandwraith is 350 gold per minute. My god. What the heck? Yeah, I, let's look at his, his CS. He's 38 and 15, highest in the game. He actually has 1,800 gold saved up. I mean, maybe like they're creating all this goofy distraction. He's gonna be sitting there, you know, pecking away at his, or, you know, or not. What a As, what a horrible snipe. Sorry, Franzi, but that was really off. Um, there there goes down a uh, seal kid. The grip went out to these Devo. guys. Stop going here in mid. Get out. Get out. Oh look! Oh my That's God. Correct. Oh, but there's the Kel field and the rocket to follow. Oh! Auto tag. Zed Pro gets Thanks, it. Bro. Follow coming up from Bubbles. He does get away. He's low mana. Oh, Zed Pro. There. What is? He has ult yet? No, he's not level six on artillery. That would be nice as hell right there. Oh man. Sandwraith's ulti's up in a few seconds. Come on, guys. Got this. Sandwraith ulti is up in four seconds. As you mentioned, he doesn't have that deserted. I really, I really do agree with you. Even one point of it, honestly. No. Would help out so I've been playing much. a lot of Sandwraith lately, actually. I mean, maybe on the past couple weeks, but I was playing a lot of it. I, I cannot see if he's not the max out that deserted right now. So. Oh, boy. Anyway, what a trollish game we got here. Uh, let's talk about the stats, though. Something is concrete here. 4,300 gold. The hook coming out missing, by the way. 4,300 gold lead, 3,800 experience data, 8 minutes in. It's pretty devastating. The award trap actually misses onto the engineer, but he goes back to stun. I feel like if he just ran away, he would have been fine, wouldn't have been caught in CC. And a misplay there by FedEx for the win. Uh, Pebbles trying to pursue this chipper here. Can he get him? You're not gonna get me, says Zep Pro. <laughs> he runs away with boots right. and says, Go away, please. Uh, uh, so just oh, Sandra just. I thought he was going for straight relic or something because he had 1800 saved up, and then he just bought his steam boots. So That's it's like, what I thought too. Boots sooner. He is going to get Gib down here. Uh, Pebbles has given him the old flankeroo. Does yeah. he have the ultimate? No, he doesn't. He gets stunned by the kill field. He actually Ooh. gets away. Yeah. The creep is going to follow him. Does he have a portal? No, he doesn't. He does have an ultimate. Can he maybe juke Only his way? Only seven seconds on that cooldown. I don't think Pebbles can even reach him yet. Yeah, Ooh. he did pop a health potion as well. He's wasting a lot of time, or he's wasting the other enemy's team. The enemy team's a lot of time. Ulting out? He does ultimate out, and he goes to, I believe it was Warbeast. And at, what a great getaway. <laughs> He uses that uh, Zezzer's Curse after the ultimate, goes through the cliff there, over the cliff, into the bottom river where the rune is, and will be safe. They see, him where he, they see where he's walking, but I don't think they can cut him off. They're, they're, they're collapsing on him with the Legion team here. Devo's waiting. Devo is waiting. The rocket barrage. It hits one. There's the hook. Does he have the ultimate? Yes, he does. Oh, no, the stun from B-Kid. Able to give just a little bit of time for um, Bubble support to that shell surf. That was actually quite huge by B-Kid. This is yeah, Artillery was level 6. He's... He would have had a few kills now. He's just so close to it, but... Warbeast. Sitting on Ghost Marchers. I've never seen... Oh, well, there's Haxorin. Getting an ultimate warrior on Seal Yeah, I've never seen a Warbeast get Ghost Marcher. Ever. I mean. Ever. <laughs> I think he just wants to be able to roam as much as he can. Since that ultimate cooldown is 80 seconds at level 1. 
Maybe level three, it's level. It's only forty seconds, but he just wants to be active. He wants. To, he's like, I want to be a part of this too, guys. Yeah. Vote. And you know, when his ulti's down, he can get a little bit more auto attacks in. Or oh something. my god. Oh man. Is this guy actually gonna get kicked? FedEx for the win has been voted to be kicked. Eight out of nine I, votes. This is pretty who, who is missing out of this vote? I can't tell. I don't know how to tell. I can't either. Oh, no. But, I don't know. I agree with you. At one point, it's like, yeah, it was fun. They tried something fun. They could have been successful, I guess. But really, they didn't. They clearly didn't take it seriously. Well, and no. Even outside of picks, they didn't really take the play seriously, obviously. Uh, they just kept going and going and going in on mid. Even when they had no life, they were just like... I feel like it's Zep Pro pulled a little bit of a publicity stunt here, you know? It's <laughs> a little bit... Yep, they do get the kill on Moonmeander, actually, in the meantime. Warbeast's uh, in the fray, but he's going to run around with his ultimate activated. Wards do take out that tower. We're sitting at a 10k gold lead now for Complexity. Uh, and still action going on. Chipper with his Striders doing a lot of damage. Big stun by B-Kid. He gets the toss as well. Gets a double tap. Vote to kick going all around the board. As this time it's on B-Kid. But yeah, I, I really do think that they had a great shot. Excuse me. If they play this seriously. Uh, they, they did show very, very um, good play against Complexity in the first game. But oh, it, was, it was wonderful, honestly. I, I was really impressed. I really thought they, they might have taken that game. Um, I just... Yeah, I don't really... I, I guess I don't understand the logic going into that. But. Um, yeah, that, that being said, it's not really over as far as their tournament life. They will drop down to the loser's bracket. Fine, they do lose this, which honestly I'm pretty sure they will. Unless mm -hmm. Complexity has a, has a deal with them. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, they, they will have a chance. Hopefully they don't try this again in the tournament because it... Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. They had a shot. Portal Key now picked up by Pebbles, 12 minutes in. Um, Ghost Marcher is picked up by Luna as well. Polywog is sitting at Ghost Marchers herself, as well as a Haste Rune bottled up. Snipe coming out from Luna gets Artillery dangerously low. He's sitting here just kind of tanking some damage. Zet Pro sitting at level 4, 1, 7, 4. He's got Striders. Same thing with Engineer. Actually, Engineer's sitting at Naked Boots. He's sitting, setting up a ton of mines here. He did level up, let's see, he did level up the mines. So just trying to go yeah, for the, the all-in mine camp here in a very interesting spot. B Kid actually is gonna run into it! Oh, oh he dies! Oh, oh B -Kid. man! B Kid's gotta say I'm done. At least he had his portal key purchase. I don't think he lost any gold. No. Sidestep that he says. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. That pro gonna die to Chessie's wolves. Oh, there's the I'm done. You called it. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty friggin' hilarious. I'm not gonna Ridiculous. <laughs> FedEx for the win. I love you, man. That was hilarious. Well played. GG. In the meantime, uh, Bubbles pushing up top lane. Actually, I missed a kill in the meantime. Seal Kid getting taken out by Franzi. He's got two major totems now on Warbees. He's going to go for the old Gnome's Wisdom Energizer. Oh, wait, Energizer doesn't have Can't even use Energizer. He's going to go for the old tablet? Gnome's Wisdom tablet. Yep. Oh, well, it's been a while since I've seen it, but it's tried and proven, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like it about as much as the uh, Strider's Harkin Deadwood. Strider's Harkin Deadwood. Yeah, guys, if you haven't tried that out, by the way, Strider's Harkin Deadwood, pretty OP. Uh, why don't you go ahead and, ex while we have this trollish game going on, why don't you go ahead and explain. Actually, hold on. Hold that thought. As uh, the ultimate from Flensmeister, he does pick up a kill onto Moon Meander in the top lane with assistance from Bassets. I didn't see. He is the highest level in this game. Sandwraith is the highest level in this game. With the highest amount. No, nope, he's, he's 2,800 gold. I don't even know where he's getting it from. Like, he's sitting at 400 GPM. Can't touch this. Oh, man. So does it matter, though. Pebbles gets a very, very easy kill on Seal Can. <laughs> Setpro going to die again. He's 1 in 10 in 15 minutes. Are we going to see the JJs? All we're going to see the JJs come out in 10 seconds. Uh, I don't even know, like... I feel like they might try to drag it out as long as... Oh no, please don't. You're so close to your relic. <laughs> so close to your relic, come on. He is very, very close. He's sitting at 3k gold just about. Uh, Warbeast dishing out a lot of damage. He is going to... I think he's going to go for the Mass Major Totems build. Unfortunately, it is, I think, the least cost-efficient item in the game. Beacon takes out FedEx for the win. Instantly. No help needed. As FedEx is trying to set up another beautiful mine camp here, or mine thing here in this little tree section. 
Zed Pro, no, do it would be funny if uh, Sandwraith was the only one. I mean, I haven't seen. It was the only one actually taking the game seriously, and he was actually trying his hardest right now. And his team's just like basically trolling and laughing. But I don't think that's the case. I think they're all in on this together. I would sure hope so, because it actually gets a good deny. <laughs> Flensmeister. I mean, I feel bad for him, man. I really or on GPM sitting on the sand right, really close to his relic. I mean, maybe they'll buy and enough their totems that their gold difference won't matter, and maybe that sand right will pop out his radiance. And the thing is, too, is not like he really had that easy of a lane. I mean, he's sitting up against the bubbles. If bubbles plays it smart, he's just gonna odd, you know pummel. The iron action. steel pickup was very strong against it, though, for sure. Oh my God, those mines! <laughs> They're trying to get the hook into the mines, but it's so unsuccessful. Oh no, they gave away the position as one of the three. Uh, goes down and, and hits them. How nasty would that have been if they got countered by those mines right there? Oh, Pop man. up double kill there and Sandwraith collects it. <laughs> I'm trying to find some signs of hope, but like, it's not When you're coming. 20k gold deficit at 16 minutes in, I feel like there's literally no signs of hope. Yeah. Um, what well, they need is a sixth player on their team. They need a sixth hero. And they need that sixth hero to be Tempest, and that Tempest has to get two five man holes. That's the only way. YOLO, you only live once. Actually, uh, Zed Pro, you have lived. Uh, they just gonna block him for. Oh my god, I hope they do. Just don't kill him. Don't kill him, guys. Oh, they, I, I wish we. Oh, I guess you can't really do it because the uh, the pathing mechanics. I would have liked to see it creeps around there and just hold them in place. <laughs> don't even move. Just hold them in place there. That would have been funny. Cheesy bad my There's the, uh, the keg stun. There's the. Sort of the high I actually picked up. God, you know, it's actually, actually a very, very good hook there coming out on Moonmeander. Moonmeander will fall. There's the combo from his uh, Pebbles as well as uh, the power throw from Aluna. Sandwraith doing a lot of damage. There's the Tablet of Command coming into play, though, for Chessie on that war beast. to save his life. I know. It's kind of funny. Um, but there's the hook actually coming on to B-Kid. B-Kid tosses. He's going to die, though. Uh, will he die? Oh, oh. no. Oh, come on. Sandwraith. Cancels his attack on him. He does get he does get taken out though, nonetheless by Sweet Pro. And warp side there and said, "No, he's gonna sit on his radiance." I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to see it come out. I want to see them win like a 5-0 fight. Sidestep on oh. cooldown, beacon. <laughs> oh, is that pro you troll, man? You know, once again, I know they had troll picks this game, but they've also been playing it troll like, and Sandrate's actually been doing a pretty good job. I can't help but wonder if they took it. Like a little bit more seriously while having that troll lineup, if they even stood a fighting chance. Yeah, I, that's I mean, game. like if you think about it, they would have free farm on pebbles. If we took this game seriously, they'd have free farm on pebbles, and I, I would imagine Chessie would get roamed on quite hard. So I'm not going to say that he would have free farm. Also, Polywog would have gotten roamed on hard as well. That means Sandwraith would have pretty much gotten decent farm. I mean, if if it was a straight up Sandwraith versus Bubbles, it's hard. Like you said, he got the early Iron Shield. He's able to stay in the lane much longer. Yeah, I think this game actually could have been worked, you know, worked out well with these picks. But as you mentioned, they pretty much trolled their way into this game. So yeah, I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I think they, they might have had some sort of freak turnaround potential simply because of complexity underestimating them. You know, they, that that'd be what I could say. But yeah, it's not not happening. Engineer trying to do another mine camp or minefield here. Sandwraith is still level 13, highest level in the game. That's crazy, man. It's 22k gold, though. I know, I know. I'm just... It, there's just a little part of me that wants to see them, like, win. It would be the most epic thing I've ever witnessed in Han. See the Legion team come away with this. So I'm just sitting here hoping. There's a double tap champion. They're coming out for Haxorin. He's 9-1-15. and 15. Maybe they can run to the fountain a few times here. You know, maybe they can just meander the way into the fountain. Are we going to see some, uh, some Codex Couriers? Actually, no, they're not farming enough to do that. Too bad. And yet another kick on the FedEx for the win. Bye, oh, yeah. Pro. Engineer is definitely the one throwing the game for them. <laughs> they gotta get rid of him, right? Oh, those mines did like no damage. Oh, there are the oh. rest of them. Bubble takes a little bit of damage, but he'll be just fine. Chessie picks up an onslaught. What has he made as far as items? Yep, the, the old Gnome's Wisdom Tablet of Command build. Tried and true! <laughs> I, I used to go that all the time. I don't know why I stopped because I'm seeing at this game. This... Yeah, man, it's so, so good. Oh, the damage he's putting out with it. He almost killed one hero. What is this? He's tabling over buildings here. I mean, there you go. wow. 
All right, well. So versatile. <laughs> I'm just at a loss for words at this point, man. I'm just, I'm just enjoying what I'm seeing. I have nothing else to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Sandra does have the mock. Does? Is, oh, whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Come on, come on! Big turning, big turn. No. He's got the Adila boots activated. I feel like with a level four dis dissipate, he needs to have. Why am I criticizing him? I don't know. Right. The yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. I. For as troll the game is, I just want to see them pull something, but I know it's not. not oh, not hook! Lucky. You gotta do it now because he's too fast. No. Nope. Uh -oh. You know what? He does get the ultimate. Oh, the wisdom. ultimate for what? He's gonna turn this. Watch this. Bam. He's got that gnome's wisdom that gives him plus four strength, plus four agility. He's like 20 HP there. And six damage! It's the pro. Oh, you there you talked about that counter. Oh, wow. He's taking too much damage. Lens Moister actually gets Lens Moister. Oh my god. Lens Meister picks up the kill. Engineer trying to do something on this. Where is getting his gold from? I just don't understand. I don't know. Beacon. 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 Oh man. Sandman does take out the Onslaught streak from Chessy. Chessy buys out, by the way. Comes back here, meets him in the mid lane. He has his ultimate on cooldown. He's going to go for an Energizer next. I'm missing the kills in the bottom. Nonetheless, hat trick coming out from Moonmander. Where is he? Sort of proud of the rest of the complexity not to fall into the, uh, the route to troll. trap and like just start buying silly items across the board. Yeah. For a little bit, when it was only 10,000, if Sandra did finish his mock and if they were all buying super troll items, the 10k gold spent on useless stuff, you know, may have not been 10k gold, but... Uh, yeah. No, they didn't fall into that trap. At least they're still playing semi-seriously, and they do want to close this out and take them back. Because it would be embarrassing. But, yep. Uh, this game is 100% over. There's no reason that 15 should con should not concede this. As the bottom racks will be uh, in next in line. What the hell happened there? I just saw... That was really, really weird. Um... Sandra with Oldie does come out, does quite a lot of damage. What's happening here? Hook missed by Devourer. In the meantime, Zet Pro taking a lot of damage, misses some rockets. Moonmander gets the last kill. The last hit, I should say. He could come as a combo seal kid. There's Chessy with that Gnome's uh, phase boots uh, tablet. Does he have anything new? He has a Wraith Band now. He's in the Energizer. He is getting the Energizer pickup. That's. The energizer. That's the Urge Ultimate coming out from Devo. Too many stuns. The holy stairs. trinity of items right there. <laughs> yeah, Devo did taken out. Bassett's, he's dead. Soul Survivor is that Sandwich, who's 4 1 and 3. Look at his team. He's 3 14, 3 10, 2 and 13, can... 1 and 13, and then you got 1 4 and 1. Or sorry, 4 1 and 4. Can I say one thing? Look at Warby's damage right now 210 to 214. <laughs> He has a tablet and abyssal skull and gnome's wisdom. What oh, the hell? Post marchers and rate. Yeah, but 214 damage with that battle cry activated. Yep. Right. Right. Wow. Okay. This is getting pretty ridiculous. The hook comes out. Uh, Bastard is going to kill on Franzi. This is just like mid wars, but it's not really mid. At I can point. hear Zutpro's voice in my head right now. It's Yolo! Yolo! Is that it? Zutpro, are you here? That's <laughs> YOLO 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 <laughs> Is that not him? I mean that's That's him. exactly it. That's almost like tone for tone. I would uh, lose my vo okay, if I have to cast two best of threes today, and then speaking like so oh Oh no side kit step for you, B kid. Can it follow up? He's laying know. in the gem. That's a huge GPS I was talking about. Yeah. Artillery. With those striders, uh, I mean <laughs> Oh shit, man. Oh man, there's that, what is that spell even called? LRM. Moon Meander actually does get the kill on the Sand Wraith of the one person who who may not be taking it seriously, but he's playing like it. I mean, Flensmeister, I feel sorry for you, man. Because you're playing very, very well. Your team is trolling, man! Your team is trolling. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it honestly looked like he was taking it because he, he honestly played extremely well in that bottom lane. Uh, his creep micro was on point, his movement was great, he survived a couple of really tough ganks, I mean... I don't know. Yep. Pretty crazy. Staff of the Master, boots a tra uh, post haste picked up on Polywog. Uh, more kills happening, Bassett's actually gets a kill on B-Kid. There's the Energizer on top of that, already having haste movement. Bubbles sold, there. wait, no, Bubbles dropped his items? What's going on here? Did Is he there a courier? There's a Codex courier coming out. Is there? 
There was a Codex 2 with an Arcane Ring. On that courier. Yeah, that's, that's Moon Meander. He's got the Codex Courier. Of course it is. As much as I was talking about No Troll, I, there it is. He was just waiting for us. This is kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's one thing, I don't know, it's one thing for me to troll a game like that, and then, alright, we don't want to try a 15 minute concede, but then to kind of drag it out. I'm, I'm actually a little bit, a little bit legitimately angry. I don't know, I can't explain yeah. it. But I'm legitimately well, a little bit My upset. frustration comes from the fact that it wasn't like there was some no-name team going up against Complexity and, like, just wanting to have a fun game in, like, the, you know, group stages of some giant tourney. I mean, this is, like, the quarterfinals of Dream Hunt Redemption, and they, they put up a really strong fight in that first guy. I keep going back to it, but they did. Yep. They honestly did. And that, 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 that is why I can't believe this. Um, yeah, maybe if the first game was a shutdown and they, they stood no chance, yeah, but they actually... They did great. So I mean, and yeah, at the same time, it's almost a slap in the face to other people that were in their bracket. Um, who else was in the bracket of this? I believe it was. Um, I think it was F Y K U, Fak U Curdy. I have to say it correctly like that, otherwise I'm gonna get slapped on the wrist. Yeah. yeah. Um, F Y K U, and I forget. It's really losing me. I have the brackets, but I'm not going to open up on it. Well, I mean, that being said, they still obviously have the rest of the, the, the playoffs to go through. And maybe they were expecting to lose this matchup. And Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, they made the, I, I'm not going to say they're not going to try hard for the rest of the turn. So. Yeah, but what I'm trying to get at is it's kind of a slap in the face of the teams that maybe were close, just as close as 15 to going on in this group, uh, in this group one with complexity. Right. Maybe they're you know maybe they're watching right now and like are you serious like why troll this game why throw this away you had a good shot at game one I, we could have actually put up a fight maybe if we were in your position so at, if you look at it that way it's kind of offensive um, at the same time I mean they they have the right to do what they want I guess but it just looks kind of bad yeah no it's true um, once again if there was one person I I would expect this from though it, it would probably be Zepro I mean. <laughs> Yeah. I will say War Beast Chessy, his items are very, very colorful. I like it. Like, look There's at the blue the tones blue. in there. You know, you got blues, teals, greens. I, I really like that color yeah, palette. Green. It looks beautiful, actually. I mean, really it, it, all of his items have so much team support. He really is a selfless player. <laughs> yeah. You're looking at it that way. Just there's that ulti from Artillery. Energizer, I found to be a decent item. Like when War Beast, like don't dissolve. They're not saying on War Beast, but. Sometimes I've been in a game and my ulti's down. I need to get a couple extra autos in with War Beast. That's when the Energizer comes out and I'm actually able to put that damage out. But uh -huh. still play it after ulti and spin. It's helpful. God, look at Flensmeister! He already got the Bloodbath kill on Moon Meander. He's and sitting he's at 500. Couple... He's the top farmer of the game. He got a hat trick. What the F is going on, man? All of his items. Uh, do they have two sets of racks or only one here? They have two, two. sets. All right. If it were one set of racks. I'm not going to say it again, because obviously... But with Moon having no I items... I agree. Just... I agree, man. If there was one set of racks, they would uh, they could easily lose that game. Oh, there's a... I want to see this heart picked up on Sand Wraith, though. What's like, that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, this is kind of ridiculous. They're going to kill Beakit here, too. They're going to kill Beakit here. Oh, my God! <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this game, Bryce. I don't know, man. I will say they are at 30k deficit. Bit. I'm getting a little bit... I mean, Moon sold all of his items, man, and B-Kid is not anywhere near a BKB oh, or an... Oh, the Codex Courier! I missed it on camera, but it oh. went through the mid and took out Seal Kid. Moon Meander. I, it doesn't even matter if Artillery dies, let's be honest here. This game is Sandwraith versus the world. That's... <laughs> I know. Alright, just pause for a moment here and just throw it out there. b is not close to any other item besides his tablet and, and his uh, Blink. Blink is nullified by Radiance. Uh, Bubbles has nothing again. Blink on Polly nullified. He doesn't have a shrunken head or anything. Luna's uh, going for a, uh, a Frost Wolf skull. Right. I mean, oh, please don't concede. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will say with Moon selling his items, yes, he does have a Codex Curry, and that amounts to something. That, all of his items are probably, I want to say, like, what? At 70, oh, they did concede. <laughs> All right, now I'm actively a little bit upset, man. Like I feel really bad for Flensmeister because this did just hit 30 minutes, and and you gotta imagine that he was still Wait. in that game. I feel really bad for him. <laughs> I'm no, sorry. It, I would I would not. I'm sorry, but at the end there, after all that, I would not have just thrown it all away. 
There was but too much I, trolling going on from from Complexity's side at that point, especially yeah, in Wind Meander. It, it was there was items. Of, like, not wasted items on Warbeast, because honestly, that hero, even with those items, they're still providing him something. He has stat points, all that. He still does quite a bit of damage. I'm not going to say they're wasted, but God. highly ineffective items on Warbeast. Um, it bubbles troll items, like... He, I mean, oh. yeah, he sold all his items. I, I wish I had, like stats to say, but I'm going to go ahead and just throw out a number and say that his total net worth was something like 8k, 7k? Does that sound right? I don't know. Yeah. I'm just it, trying to say, okay, the gold the gold deficit was 30k. You subtract all of Bubbles, that's got to be about 23k. You subtract the fact that Pebbles' items are kind of useless at that point against the Sand Wraith. He's like, got that much Sand farm. Wraith, given, given, like, yeah, and the Luna's still in the Luna going Frostwolf, you know? and Haxorin had a damn good had damn good line, or items right there, though. That was the scary part. And then, despite Jesse going for the selfless team-oriented items, he was still dishing out, as you mentioned, like 230 damage. Okay, yes, they probably, like, 95% would have lost, but the fact that Sandwraith was holding his own, kicking ass at these team fights at the end, I, I feel really yeah, bad I mean, for Yeah, I mean, honestly, could have, I mean, they had both sets of racks on, they could have just taken the game patiently, uh, farmed up a little bit more core, real items, get into Shrunkins, get whatever they needed to finish off the game and then push. Sure. But, I mean, you know, they were sort of in a trolley mindset, too. Uh, maybe they could have gotten hold off, taken some huge fights, and turn, I, I, I don't know. I just sort of liked it. I wanted to see the Sand Wraith at least kick some butt after sitting through 30 minutes of that. I know. I'll be honest. That, that, that's what I wanted to see. So. And the fact that they conceded then instead of, like, at 15 minutes is like, what? Yeah. Anyway, guys, okay, we have it. There's the best of three. Complexity takes it two games to nothing. Uh, so they will move on to face we don't know yet. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the brackets as of right now. Uh, Complexity does move on. Oh, we actually do know because in an hour, we are actually here at Honcast casting Pikachu versus Orange. Pikachu um, did, or sorry, no, it was Orange actually played their best of three matchup uh, before coming in here. And it was the winner moves on. They did take out Vitriolic. So uh, Orange is facing Pikachu here today. Uh, the winner of that goes on to me, Complexity. In the bottom half of this winner's bracket so far, we got Q Squad 357 taking on TDM or Trademark Esports. Below that, Jungle Devos taking on TT Esports. Uh, we'll get to those matches and we'll have the schedule up for you later on today after the match. But yeah, like I said, Pikachu taking on Orange today. That's in one hour at 3 o'clock, uh, the normal casting time, 3 o'clock Eastern time, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific. And I believe that can you help me out, Matt? What time is that for CET? 2100 Central European time. So make sure to stay tuned, stay around, maybe get some lunch or dinner, depending on what part of the world you are in, and uh, come back an hour. Bryce, thanks again for helping me out here today, take, uh, filling in breaky shoes. Anytime. Looking forward to the game later on. So Definitely. All right, guys, stick around. We'll be back in just one hour, so don't go anywhere.